We can get it wrong, by the way, and fix yeah. it. That's how this video will start. Yeah. <laughs> you can get this wrong. <laughs> so, hi, Aidan. This is a video about listening. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd I'd start a series of videos where we talk about how we listen to each other when we play. The duo is my favourite way of playing. I, I love it. What do you think about when you're when you sit down to play with somebody? There's a marked difference, I think, when you when you listen to musicians that are definitely a, a linked in, in sync, with their ears wide open. Um, I, there's so many so many players playing with the only their the thought of getting from A to B in the tune. If you lock in tightly with who you're playing with, not only does it make the music sound better, but it's it's a much more enjoyable experience. Yeah, it's about it's about sharing. It's about exchanging ideas, it's about call and responses, much less about performance. Yeah, I totally agree with that, actually. Who was the first musician that you would have played in that way with? With Claire Mann. I think. Claire Mann. Yeah, played for years with uh, Claire Mann, the flute player and fiddle player. Uh, and I had some interactions in bands before then, but that's the first time I ever felt completely locked in with, with someone's style and... Uh, I think I think it takes a little little bit of maturity as well. When you're in your kind of young teenage years, it's it's all about being being flash and kind of sitting above above the tune or sitting above the, the band or whatever, uh, quite soloistic. But then I don't know. I think I reached maybe eighteen or nineteen and found the joy in actually sitting in really tightly with a, another musician and listening clearly to their ornaments and. Um, I guess a lot of it's about imitating and, mm. you know, picking up on ideas and internal rhythms. It's not just about the 4-4 the four four or the 6-8. It's about all these little details, nuances that um, that you really have to listen to. Pick yeah, up. it's interesting because I, I suppose at, at my age now, when I sit down to play with someone, if I find if they're not listening, then I, I really don't... I'm not interested. It's gone. Yeah. The vibe is gone. Well... <laughs> We'll soon find out. We'll find out. So what tune <laughs> shall we do? Are we doing the Cameron Highlanders? We had a lovely session last night here at uh, Weston Lodge and we played Out of Nowhere came uh, the Cameron Highlanders, which is a, a tune I can maybe played eight, nine, ten years ago last time. So it went okay last night. By J. Scott Skinner. Mm -hmm. The legend.
fun.